Today, I'm excited and nervous because we're about to drop Maggie off to correct one of the most major points of anxiety for me as a full-time RVer. We're finally getting the roof done and we're doing it legit. We're getting rid of the EPDM membrane, which we had on two different rigs now, which I've hated on both. Constantly patching, constantly worried about a little scratch from a branch ripping a hole in it. But after this video, we're gonna have a bomb-proof RV roof. We're dropping Maggie off with South Florida RV Solutions, and they're gonna be installing flex armor onto Maggie's roof, and then we will literally never have to worry about the roof ever again, and I cannot wait. Most RVs being manufactured today are coming with rubber roofs from the factory. Rubber roofs and the work it takes to maintain them sucks. I had to reseal the roof on our RV immediately after purchase, and trust me, it's not a job you wanna do. Rubber roof membranes are also just a few millimeters thin. That's your typical rubber roof. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's what our roof is right now. Yeah. So the potential for leaks from even the smallest branch scrapes are a constant concern, for me at least. So if you have a rubber roof on your RV, it's not a matter of if you'll have water damage from leaks, but when. So let's talk about your repair options. The most simple DIY way to fix the leak on your rubber roof is to patch it with a butyl putty tape, Eternabon being one of the more popular brands. This works well for sealing small holes, but it looks terrible as you'll inevitably continue to add more and more band-aids to your roof over time. Ask me how I know. But let's be real, if you're watching this video, you're likely well beyond slapping band-aids on pinholes, like we are. Another option is to apply a roll-on coating over the entire roof, including all of your self-leveling joint sealants around your accessories and the edges of the roof membrane. While this will add a small bit of thickness to the rubber roof membrane that's already there, the puncture resistance is still pretty questionable. On top of that, it's recommended that self-leveling roof joint sealants should be completely replaced at least once a year and spot checked constantly to maintain their water tightness. This means that self-leveling sealants have a limited service lifespan and are actually meant to be replaced on a semi-regular basis depending on the conditions that they're subjected to, like tires or oil or brake pads. But if you paint over them with a the roll-on roof product, it's now impossible to inspect or replace the sealant underneath. So questionable puncture resistance combined with the inability to inspect the health and replace the joint sealants are two huge red flags of roll-on products for me. We decided to go with Flex Armor because we really like the spray-on application process over the roll-on products because it's applied in a controlled shop environment. So there's no potential for debris contamination between layer applications or weather delays interfering with the installation timeline. Flex Armor is also much thicker than stock rubber roof membranes even when combined with aftermarket roll-on products giving your roof real puncture protection, plus the added benefit of thermal insulation. If you touch right here, I'm feeling hot it is in the sun. Oh yeah. Then we'll go up in the roof and show you how cool it is up there. Okay. It's warm. Oh, I'm excited just to ride this. <laughs> yep. Ooh, up we go. <laughs> oh, it's slower than I anticipated. Oh, really? Yeah, much slower. Holy moly. Holy moly, it's cool. It's like not hot at all. And this is taking the brunt of the sun right now. <gasps> this is gonna be amazing. I think they said it can be up to like 15 degrees cooler inside your RV once you put one of these roofs on. It's gonna be a game changer when we're dry camping in the summer and we wanna use our solar. We can actually park in the sun and not have to worry about it being blazing hot inside because we have this insulation. And you won't worry about branches hitting it. That's true. Ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> cool. Unlike typical rubber roofs and roll-on products, all joint caulking is completely removed instead of being hidden underneath the membrane and waiting to fail and become potential leaks. So of course, I would encourage you to do your own research and decide for yourself which product fits your situation best. I just wanted to share a few of the huge points that I found during my own research process that led me to the decision to go with the Flex Armor product. so cool to see them do our thing with Maggie. They are getting her all prepped to spray the new roof today. I'm so excited. We were expecting the decking on the roof, which is the wood foundation, to be in really bad condition. We knew there was some leaks when we purchased Maggie back in 2019. Dennis did a lot of work to re-caulk and reseal everything. But when they pulled back the roof, it was in much better condition than we expected. 
There are some spots that have a little bit of water damage. You can see water got through at one point in this roof's life, but it's not uh, like crumbling like you would expect from wood rotting and it's very dry. It's still really firm and sound. So we're not gonna be replacing any of the decking, which is a major win. Roof decking is expensive. So having to replace it would have added to our roof repair costs tremendously. Yesterday they spent the day taking everything off of the roof, including our AC, the vents, the vent covers, and then they taped everything off to prepare it for spraying. Then they're going to prime it, and then the new roof goes on. Since we've had to drop the RV off at the shop for a few days while they redo our roof, and we live in the RV full time, we've had to find somewhere else to call home for a few days. Luckily, I found an Airbnb that was pet friendly so we could bring our two kitties with us and we have proper moved in. We brought like, I think at least 75% of our stuff, all of our fridge and freezers in here. We got our trash can, we got all of our cooking stuff. Cat box goes in the shower because that's where it lives in the RV and that keeps the mess down. The cats have adjusted okay. Cats, if you're a pet owner, they don't like change. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi, bud. First day, they both pretty much just hid and wouldn't come out at all, but day two and uh, they're starting to, to show signs of comfort. It's been really nice to have our own space. We've been able to just work and cook our own meals, which saves us money in the long run. And before you know it, we'll be back in our RV. We haven't really had to do this before. We've never had to get repairs for long periods of time like this in our RV. In our fifth wheel, we were always able to stay in it when something was getting done, or we could stay with like friends and with our class CRV, we just haven't had any problems. So this is a new experience for us. Moving in and out is not exactly the most fun, but getting a new roof makes it totally worth it. What do you think? Oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> Oh, I am pumped about this. Look at it. She's a beaut. Nice, right? Seriously guys, we just saw it for the first time and it looks so, so, so good. We did the paint match so that the color of the RV kind of matches or blends in with the roof so it's not just this stark white and it makes the world a difference. We were very nervous about putting the front cap and going kind of like all the way down so it covers where I sleep, but that turned out beautiful as well. Wow, this is like, this is a game changer. It really does change everything. We're gonna have better insulation, quieter. It's gonna keep our RV cooler. We're protecting ourselves from future damage. We don't have to go up there and reseal. There's no more caulking. This is everything. Yes. It looks sick. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't like, I kind of had an expectation, but it looks better than expected. Permagrin right now, because not only does it look good, but it's maintenance free for the rest of the time that we own this thing. And they give you a lifetime warranty on the roof. This is dope, high five. Yeah, I can't even verbalize how excited I am because we have a brand new roof that we never have to worry about again. I can't say that enough. We never have to worry about this roof again. If you're looking to get a new roof done, we can highly recommend the Flex Armor product. And of course, coming to South Florida RV Solutions to get the installation done. We know from firsthand experience how great of a job they did and how nice of a team they are here. So we definitely recommend that. But if you're in a different state or in a different area, it may not make sense to drive to Florida to get this done. Thankfully, there are about 21 different Flex Armor partners across the country where you can get this roof installed. And it also is a place that you can go if you ever do need repairs for some reason, something happened to your roof. With your warranty, you can go to any of those shops as you're traveling and know that you're taken care of. This is not a cheap upgrade for those wondering how much this costs. It will vary dramatically based on the length of your roof, how much you're getting sprayed if you need to have decking done. I highly recommend calling whatever shop you're considering going to to get a quote based on your roof and just know that that may change depending on once they get down there, if they realize there's damage, they have to replace decking 
working, it could bump the price up. It's been two months since we've gotten our roof repaired and we are very happy to report that we are still so pleased with our decision to go with Flex Armor. We've noticed it's been a lot quieter in the RV when it rains. Of course, Dennis doesn't have to worry about leaks anymore, but it's also been significantly cooler, particularly in the over cab bunk where we sleep. We want to thank South Florida RV Solutions for working with us to make a portion of our RV roof replacement possible. And don't forget if you are in the Fort Myers area or anywhere in South Florida, make sure to use the link in the video description below to get a quote from South Florida RV Solutions. Now that we have finished our roof replacement and a few other projects around the RV, we are officially ready to hit the road and we are so 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 excited because we are returning out west this year we haven't been out west in i think several years now that i'm thinking about it so we're going to be revisiting a few places we've visited before and some new states and cities so we are so pumped to be sharing all of these adventures with you and videos to come so if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber Thanks for traveling with us. We appreciate you. If you're interested in seeing our exact route out west and seeing what we have in store for the rest of 2022, we do share our itinerary with our patrons. We do this so that we can hopefully meet up with them along the road. We don't do a lot of like public meetups, but we love getting to know our patrons on a more intimate level. So if you're interested in joining our Patreon community, we will also have a link to that in the video description below. Thanks for traveling with us. We'll see you next week. Do a little brat, saute a little cabbage, get asparagus too, doom, 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 get asparagus too, doom, 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 doom. Oh boy. Oh, going down.